And the segment, AM Business, is brought to you by Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. And uh, we have to look at the subject of uh, technology and agriculture. And on the 14th of November this year, two teams will be crowned winners of the 2019 edition of the Cosmos Innovation Center Agritech Challenge. And they, ultimately, when they win, will walk away with a cash prize of some $50,000. Now, catch the adventure, learning experience and sacrifice in the journey to finding innovative solutions to challenges in Ghana's agriculture sector as we bring you highlight of how it all began for the various teams contesting. The Cosmos Innovation Center, KIC, was launched in March 2016 as Cosmos Energy's flagship social investment program. Its vision is to invest in young entrepreneurs and small businesses who have big ideas and want to see Ghana grow. Cosmos Energy over the past three years has invested in over 16 startups, both in cash and technical assistance, to develop their business ideas. To date, the KIC has trained over 500 young people and driven over $1 million external co-investment in Ghana. To discover the next team to benefit from the KIC experience, the call was made for young applicants with an interest in agriculture to be part of the Agritech Challenge 2019. We've interviewed, um, I think every each day we've interviewed close to 40 um, applicants, or shortlisted applicants. and. And then on Tuesday, I went home feeling very excited as a Ghanaian, and for one reason. We met a group of young entrepreneurs or potential entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs who uh, want to be part of the KIC program for 2019. And I felt that there is great future for this country if we're able to put the right um, structures in place. In November 2018, over 600 entries were made and then shortlisted to 300 who got the chance to be interviewed by personnel of the KIC team. From several parts of the country, the young men and women converged at the office of the KIC in Jowulu to partake in the interview. Divided into groups of 20 to 25, the 300 applicants were vetted in turns. It began with an open forum where questions were thrown to the group for discussion. We are not patronizing what we, we, we add value to, okay? What is the problem? Why, Why are we not you should patronizing our own? Okay. Think we don't package our products very well. When I enter into a car mall right now and I see products that have been displayed there, if I want to even buy Apple, and Apple, we don't, we don't produce Apple here, so let me even leave Apple down. Let me give a sample of banana. If I enter a crowd more right now and I see banana packaged nicely from, say, Brazil, and I see my own country banana elsewhere in the shelf there, the attractiveness of the packaging alone will make me pick that off, the Brazilian banana, and leave my own country banana because of the packaging. So I think we have to develop more interest about packaging our products well to make it attractive. I've, I've really studied planting very well in our local setting. Plantain is utilized to uh, its maximum. When we have the, fr the fresh one that is unripe, you use it for various kinds. We have uh, what we call plantain chips. We have maybe banku. We have uh, what we call it, fufu. Wine, yeah. And then, then we roast it. You, you use it in that way. When it gets ripe, it can also be used that way. Even in that state that is perishing, when it's even ripe and it's about perishing, they, they have a way of mashing it as some fly and do some, some uh, is there a or something. So it's used to the maximum. Unlike 
uh, the others, you see that some, some are there you, you see when it's about perishing, you have no use of it, something like yam. You buy yam, it's, it's getting rotten, it will get rotten. Apart from maybe somebody using it for APC and fufu, you have no use for yam. So if I'm going to buy yam from the market, I'll have few to buy. But I'll, if in, in reality, we have diverse use of many food products that we produce, I know that we are going to really buy more and we are going to really want to utilize it the more. Attentively, the KIC personnel paid attention to the various inputs by the applicants and also noted those contributing and those who were not. These questions, they say, was to guide them to assess their basic knowledge of Ghana's agriculture sector. Want what we should do, one, um, we should be able to meet standards. I remember there was a forum where we poultry farmers and consumers met. And some of the huge consumers in Ghana were talking about meeting ISO standards, of which none of the poultry farmers who were present there was meeting as at then. So I remember we had to make arrangements for some seminars so that we could meet such standards. Then in addition, when you come to Ghana, for instance, somebody going to buy maize will go, the sort of measurement we use the sort of measurement. You go to a Ghanaian market, we just present sometimes in a bowl or whatever. Next was the one-on-one -on -one stage where each applicant would answer specific questions based yes, on their qualifications, desires and oh, aspirations. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. What's your name? My name is Umar. 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 Yes. Competers. Um, one. Um, I'm someone who is selfless and um, I, whatever that I have passion for, I'm committed to it. If um, I don't have passion for something, I don't start it because I know I wouldn't go far. So I, so I expect, uh, they should expect to get commitment and contributions and um, or actually I will, I will bring on board valid experience that I have over the years. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Please have a seat. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Your name again? I am Apia George Frank. Apia George Frank. Thank you. Sir, why are you here? Playing job. Um, imported chicken in Ghana. I see that has been a major challenge in the industry for quite some time. But I see it to be more of innovation than um, such a huge challenge. That is why I applied, so that if it is considered, then my team will solve that problem. My main focus is on tomatoes, actually. So I'm trying to, not trying, I've actually created a tomato-based sauce. So I process it, I actually cook it down a little bit, but not totally, and then it's bottled. So it's ready to be used as it is. So powerboard? Powerboard, yes. It's, I mean, it's not powerboard, it's basically cooked actually, yeah, because it's cooked through. Okay. So if you pick it up and you want to make your sauce, it's ready for use. So I have that, and then I have the chili mix as well, and then the all-purpose spice. It's just, I just started it actually, so. At the end of the interview session, Programs Director at the KIC, Benjamin Dan Kessel, noted that there is more work to be done to improve communication skills among the youth. As much as I felt really good, there were also times that I felt really sad. And I asked myself a couple of questions. As a team, we asked a couple of questions. Um, is, is our academic structure in the universities helping to bring out bright people who can be good entrepreneurs. These are questions that we've been asking ourselves. Or is the society helping shape young people in the right place to be able to take up um, what will be left for them? The other 300 applicants were narrowed down to 200. Yet, there was a need for further sifting. And what better way to test the preparedness of these young upcoming entrepreneurs than through a physical test? Concentrate up, side, up, side, up, side.
The recruits spent a week on the military grounds where they were divided into two teams, the Cobras and the Vipers. Although these young aspirants were familiar with the term hard training is battle, they really got to understand how hard the training can get. As they were coached to undergo physical training daily, these recruits faced a battle daily. The attack was to compete in physical exercises and then accrue points to determine a winner on the final day. This was to foster teamwork and create bonding among the recruits who would eventually pair up to form businesses. The military grounds did not only prepare the recruits with outdoor activities, but also gave them the classroom experience, where they were schooled on topics such as time management and training. And what better way to learn discipline than from a soldier who holds discipline in high esteem? Training sessions such as art of war and leadership gave the participants an understanding on how humility training can be effective for personal and business growth. To make sure that they match the time. So once you manage the event very well, at the end you are actually managing the time. The battle was still tough for some of the recruits, even in the classroom, as they found it difficult to stay awake after a rigorous workout. Although tiring at times, the most memorable part of the military adventure was the trip to Mount Cloam in the Cobra district. We are going to walk by the left, not by the right. You don't go this way. You always walk this way <coughs> when going. Follow the instructors and take simple instructions. Now we are not going to climb to the top. Knowing that they were just climbing half the distance of the mountain, the recruits were assured that the journey has been made easier. Little did they know that this reduction in distance would make no difference. After what seemed like hours of torture, some just gave up on the way, whilst others managed to make it. For those who made it to the top, it was more than a victory for them. Yeah, I, I really thought it was going to be easy, but it's the hardest thing I've done in the longest while. I don't know how I made it up, but I did, and I'm glad I made it, because the view is very, very beautiful. From the beginning, it looked a, very, a little challenging, but attempting it, we made it to the point we were supposed to. We're now descending, and we hope we will be able to carry that same morale down. After all, it's all about endurance. So all the best to my team, and all the best to everyone. In the end, the participants appreciated the challenge and its essence for business development. So far, it's been fun. Although initially we didn't anticipate, I personally I didn't anticipate to be so fun, but it's been fun through the PT, the physical training, uh, the endurance training and all that, and even this one. It's been fun so far, just that you feel tired, and when we go to class, we've been dozing, but it's been fun. And the exercise is good. You could feel that <laughs> you are losing small, small weight. So <laughs> it's good. Through it all, each participant put up a good work as they knew this would determine the final 120 to make it to the 2019 edition of the Cosmos Innovation Center Agritech Challenge. Karin Dodu for Joy Business.
Well, so that's it, the KIC Agritech Innovation Challenge. And I hope that you love the piece, but make sure that on regular programming, but mainly on the show, especially for this segment and um, the other part of regular programming on the channel, you're following the steps that have been taken so far by those who are contesting in the KIC Agritech Challenge. And I promise you, you'll get to see how young minds are using technology, artificial intelligence, to improve or contribute significantly to the growth of agriculture and its value chain. We have to thank Cosmos for that good work so far they're doing. But uh, we have a couple of your messages so far. So we would want also to let you in on some of the comments you've been bringing through our number 0540109. And um, we have um, at least uh, this message from Samzi inside Damango. And says, uh, hi, good morning to you all. Uh, Mamavi, I always feel good anytime I see you laughing this way. Mm, yeah, I'll have to surcharge you. It's a, it's a bit, uh, but uh, from Evans of Paint House to Chima, it says, whatever Nigeria is seeking to achieve at the border, they must also consider other economies on the continent or the subcontinent, you have to say. Now, West African countries are neighbors. What affects your neighbor will eventually affect you, he concludes. Now, I have this from Felix from Krobo Dumasi. That's where he's given us a message. says, um, it is becoming a habitual habit for the ruling party to engage in nepotism. Parliament must put in measures to ensure that such things are minimized as soon as possible. I'm sure it's following that story we brought to you about the NDC convening that press conference and accusing the Akufadu led government of appointing family and friends, they say. Mm. And uh, we have, um, well, so we have a couple of your messages more. Uh, let me just also look at this one. Um, this one says, Koji uh, Yangsen, as usual, very good uh, message of motivation this morning, but I throw back your message to you. When was the last time you find anything wrong with the NDC? Is the NDC not a human party? As for the MPP, I totally agree with you with most of your criticism as well. Um, uh, this one is from Wolanyo in Akwitia. says, what is wrong if family and friends are capable and competent to occupy positions in the ekufado led administration? Let me remind the, the NDC that family and friends came together to fight for Ghana's independence, known as the Big Six. Three of President's family members um, are on the, the Big Six list. Would the NDC, led by... Sami Jemfi have condemned that call and also um, called on the, the information that is indicating that family and friends are in government. Very needless press conference whatsoever, you say.